Welcome back to This Day. We're going to jump right into some Rat Pack stuff, right? Doug Starks, he's a board member from the Chairman and the Board, a Chairman. Rat Pack tribute band. Yes. And uh, tell me a little bit about the Rat Pack tribute band. And well, you know, There's a lot of them out there, right? So, there are. We call this the ultimate Rat the Pack ultimate. tribute. <laughs> and, and the reason being is that um, we don't just perform the music, we actually have a multimedia narrative that runs within the show mm -hmm. that speaks about their relationships, uh, some of their trials and triumphs, and, uh, and why they still are a major influence so many decades later. Wow. And we're the only show that has been permitted to use rare photographs and actual video footage of the Rat Pack. Now I saw some of the clips, and they, they're very interesting. Some, some stuff that I've never seen before. Uh, so that's, that can be a fun kind of thing, it's kind of like the history and yeah, the nature yeah. of that. And I know um, you play Sammy Davis Jr. Uh, as part of the Rat Pack. I know that when Sammy was out playing in Vegas, he couldn't stay at some of the same hotels. Yeah, that was yeah. a big deal. It and, was a huge deal, in fact. Uh, and that's one of the stories we tell within this show and how Frank Sinatra, was uh, a key component in changing that around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and it kind of made a stand and say, hey, that's not right. You know, he's before, he can perform here, but he can't they stay can't here. He can't stay here. Come yeah. on. And I actually went to, I lived in Las Vegas for 17 years. I actually went to the, 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 the boarding house where they used to stay. And uh, let's just say it was less than, <laughs> less, it was like less than, yeah. You know, it's a roadside motel. Deeply discounted yeah, extremely, <laughs> e you know? economy lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, you lived, like you say, you lived out in Vegas for 17 years. Yeah. You're, you're obviously a major fan. Did you ever get a chance to meet any of the Rat Packers? I, I met Dean Martin. Okay. Uh, I actually met Sammy Davis and uh, and got to spend time with him. We, it really? actually, yeah, it was, a, it was amazing. Um, a friend of mine, a mutual friend named Jack Sheldon, who used to be Merv Griffin's uh, band leader and mm -hmm. also did the ABC's Schoolhouse Rock. Oh, like, Conjunction, yes. Junction, what's oh, your function? How fun is that? So he facilitated an introduction and we just kind of hit it off and he gave me a number and he says, I live in LA. And I said, I do too. And he goes, well, hey, if you ever want to talk again, give me a call. And it was his, the residence number. And I remember calling it and the lady answered and said, Davis residence. And I hung up. <laughs> this is before caller ID, right? Like, and then I waited like three days, like they were gonna know it was me calling again. But yeah, it was his number, and he invited me to the house, and uh, so I've been to his house. He's, he loved to cook. What a great experience! And we me, yeah, 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 just to be able it's to huge. be around that kind of like you know, in that story you can tell for, yeah. and you'll have that memory of that. And so many people would have loved to have had that experience. Yeah. And he know? was the same in his living room as he was on stage. Mm -hmm. Very consistent. I remember when I was a younger man, seeing interviews of him on Johnny Carson and seeing other shows, and he just seemed like he was, he loved what he did. He loved his life, and you know, with the trials and tribulations that he had to go through as, a, as an African-American performer, but so he loved what he did, and he, and he appreciated the opportunity he had. Yeah, yeah. I think he was truly one of those, all of them were. I think they didn't even realize what they were doing, how big it was, because they mm -hmm. personified what the nation's aspiration was at that particular time. They were from different ethnicities and economic mm -hmm. classes and whatever. And they came together, kidded about their differences, and then made beautiful music out of, as a product. So it kind of was like a societal model. Yeah. And it, and it was organic, you know. I think they don't it even was. realize when you're in the middle of it, you don't realize that maybe you're being groundbreaking. You're just yeah, like, this seems yeah. right. This is normal. Why wouldn't we do it this way? This see, this is yeah. this is working, yeah. right? So yeah. th is that is that the kind of thing you kind of, you know, try to um, tell people on stage and let people understand about yes. that a little bit as yes. well? That is, I would call that the subtext of what we do. Okay. Um, the music is a star. Mm -hmm. The music is a star. The, the, the celebrities that we capture the nuances mm -hmm. of are the stars. Mm -hmm. But the story behind that, their motivations, their passion, their commitments mm -hmm. to each other and to what they were doing is something that you kind of catch by, you know, by, by ambiosis. Yeah. Now, for all, of all the band members, Sammy was the biggest showman. We'll say that for sure in terms of uh, he, he, the yeah. performance on the stage, the hat. You brought some props. and what, or Do you bring that showmanship? To I do. In <laughs> fact, you know, uh, 
Uh, we're going to be at the Coach House Concert Hall August 13th. Right. Um, they have a carpeted stage. I'm a tap dancer. I studied tap from a guy named Henry Letang who taught Gregory Hines. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking about going out on the tables and tapping. So. <laughs> can you bring one of those uh, boards out and lay it down on the carpet? You know how they do that sometimes? Yeah, you can, but they move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they so slide around a, a little bit. A dance <laughs> shuffle could turn into like a carpet surfing. Yeah, and yeah then you're on crutches the rest of the show. We don't, we don't <laughs> right, want that. Exactly. <laughs> like, ow, babe. <laughs> ow. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, the one, why would audiences like want to come to these tribute shows? What is it about your show that makes it like, hey, this is more than a tribute show? Yeah. If you talked a little bit about the, the history know, already, a little yeah, bit too. Yeah. If you don't know about the Rat Pack, it gives you something beyond the obvious to know about them. Mm -hmm. To where, when you listen to them, you get to appreciate the experience a little more because it's a little more in depth. Mm -hmm. It's not just the superficial, hey, these guys were famous and they sang. Mm -hmm. you, get to, uh, you get to appreciate their interaction with each other. Right. Uh, and we have a fantastic cast. I have to say, our show has a Marilyn Monroe in it. She was an underspoken icon as well. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know a lot of things about Marilyn Monroe. And, and the woman who plays Marilyn on our show is named Nicolette Holman, and she's amazing. Mm -hmm. You'll love it. OK. Yeah. And you know, it wasn't just that they were on the stage performing. These guys were friends. They hung out. They made movies together, Robin and the Seven yeah. Hoods, Ocean's yeah. Eleven, some yeah. famous movies out there. So it's like they kind of they, they kind of were created this almost like this this little group of like, we're this entertainment unit, yes. <laughs> right? They were their own production yes, exactly. and music and, and film and, and shows. It, it was almost reality TV, yeah. <laughs> really, because that's the way that they interacted with each other. Yeah. yeah. And how are we going to make this work together? And it seemed like they were the, that camaraderie really carried over to yeah. a lot of things. That this is working here. Why don't we do this in movies? Why don't we do this in a lot of places? I think you stated it uh, perfectly. Organic. Mm -hmm. It was just organic. Never since then has there been a group of celebrities that could emulate what they did right. organically. It hasn't happened. Right, right. It, absolutely. Yeah, that, that's that's one of those things that kind of stuck there in time. Right, you know, right. like the Beatles and the Brat Pack and those kinds of things. That there'll never be another one of those no, out there. No, People can yeah. try, but it doesn't quite work out. Right. Although we come real close. Folks, so I'm <laughs> exactly. Not, and I'm right. only saying that because it's yeah. true. The, the, it's the true. next best thing, if you never got to see these, is <laughs> going out to that show. Um, how, you, you've been living in the village for a little while. How do you like it? I've been living in the village for uh, about three months, and I love it. It's such a sense of community and I'm meeting new people all the time. My neighbors are absolutely fabulous. Shout out to the hood. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they were, I have people knocking on my door introducing themselves to me. Mm -hmm. I said, my name is Doug. And then later in the day, I think they would misquote my name and call me Darius. Yeah. And I go, Darius? Darius. Oh, Darius. <laughs> Darius. <laughs> Darius again, right? <laughs> no, but it's been wonderful. Yeah, it's been wonderful. Uh, do you do you consider yourself retired? Even though you're doing these, you're doing a lot of stuff. You're pretty busy. Well, I wouldn't call this a retirement community. I would call it just a mature community, and uh -huh. I'm I'm you're mature. Your, your second act of life, maybe a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you always been an entertainer? Were you always doing these kind of things in your life? Or? Uh, not professionally. As okay. a child, I was an entertainer. I mean, I sang in churches and and and, and played music. Uh, but this has been my only true profession. Mm -hmm. I've had jobs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this has been the only thing that I've ever considered as a profession. Okay. Yeah. And I've done this for years. <laughs> you know, I tell you, I had you're more, you're more than one person has come on here. It's own it, you know. You, you, okay. You've been doing this a while. I'm 63 years old. There you go. And I make it look good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always like, I always like find it funny that people shy away from their their experience and yeah. like I have decades of this, you know, under my belt. I have something to say, and so that's one of the things I think that I think people that go to your shows can appreciate that yeah. you you remember you've met the people and you. You have that experience that you bring to the show. You're not just some 20 year old kid trying to do a Sammy Davis Jr. Right. song, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm having, I'm constantly having experiences due to my maturity, like sleep injuries. <laughs> There's an experience for you. <laughs> what I heard a joke the other day. My best memory from childhood is is my back not hurting. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I like that. I like that. Yeah. So you also do some bookings for the Coach House, right? I in, do. In a, a third career, something else going on. Yeah. Yourself. What, I, what, we have some other shows coming up that you, you're pretty happy about yeah, getting down there. Uh, we have uh, Jeff Skunk Baxter, who's mm -hmm. a guitar player, played with Steely Dan and Doobie Brothers, and that's coming up on... Uh, uh, August 23rd. August 23rd. Uh, Yacht by Nature, which is like cruise. It's great music, uh, great pop music. Uh, 
It's yachty by nature, though, right? It's yachty, yachty by like, nature. Like not kind of yes, naughty by nature. Yes, the yachty by that. nature. Yachty <laughs> by nature, yeah. And they're and coming up September 8th. September 8th. And the Finians, which is like uh, Celtic folk music. They've been around for a while. I know, and I they're, love them. I, they're great. Yeah. I, I, I got to watch them in concert, and I watched them whenever they're there. And I love dancing to them. And there's this is high energy, great family show. Okay, that's going to be September 16th. But we want to close with Doug Starks. He's a member of the board and the, uh, the chairman and the board. And that show's coming up August 13th. August 13th. And yeah. that's going to be a great one. Doug, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me, man. I love being here. Thank I've you. I loved having you. We'll have you back again. Okay, cool. Cool. Sounds like a plan. I'll hold you to it. <laughs> Threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us, Doug. And you're watching Village Television. We'll be right back.